sharing service to step up to the mark. It's social outings like this which 34-year-old Kai Yates lives for, but he sometimes faces an arduous wait for disability-equipped transport. Sometimes you have to wait for half an hour to get one. While Uber is now regulated by the state government, there are hopes it can cater for an increasing demand from people of all abilities in regional Victoria. We need some, uh, some more, because there's a lot of people in wheelchairs and sometimes you um, have to wait a little bit more longer. Concerns now turning to how the ride-sharing services will be inclusive for those with a disability. And with Uber you can have your own car, you know, so people with disabilities has to, have to miss out. But Uber has hit back, claiming accessibility is a top priority, already using technology to deliver transport options for more Victorians. The service wants to open up government subsidy schemes, welcoming discussions with the state government. Disability support providers expect greater demand for transport for those with special needs after next year's rollout of the NDIS. To be able to go to work, to be able to get to school and other educational things and there will be an increasing, we think, need for accessible transport. Alison von Saker, News. Two Bendigo teens were lucky to escape Syria.